loves it's your girl patricia here back with another video if you're new to this channel definitely make sure you subscribe Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you violent. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Hey love, it's the girl Patricia here, back with another video. If you're new to this channel, definitely make sure you subscribe and you give me a thumbs up if you do like this video. Today's video, I'll be doing a transformation, not really a transformation, it's like transforming my hair back to curly. So what I do to kind of make sure there's no heat damage, nothing. I never have any heat damage anyway. But I'm just going to show you guys the process of what I do to have my curls back. So now my hair is super, super dirty. I don't know if you guys can see how dirty it is. Like, it has, like, um, leftover shampoo. Like, because I have, like, a... Wait, let me show you guys. So I have this dry shampoo. And when I applied it, I kind of applied loads and very close to my hair. So I had like loads of powdery shampoo in my hair. And that just made it extra dirty. And also it's very greasy. Like my hair is really, really greasy once it's curly. Like it gets really greasy. So it's been, I've had it in a bun for the past, what, three days. And I've been wanting to do this video. So I've been kind of delaying wash day. But yeah, so... Today I've done the mask. I'm going to show you guys how to do this now. To start this mask you'll be needing four ingredients which they are coconut oil, black castor oil, olive de resina which is also castor oil however it's just not black and olive oil. I'll then be adding one spoon of coconut oil. Coconut oil is amazing for your scalp health. It also prevents your hair from breakage and split ends. It also contributes to your hair length. I'll be putting in my grave just for 30 seconds. I'll then be adding two spoons of olive oil. Olive oil moisturizes and reduces scalp irritation. I'll then be adding one spoon of each castor oil. Castor, castor oil works with all types of hair, supplies valuable nutrition to hair follicles, also helps moisturize, thicken, strengthen, and helps with hair growth. Once you've mixed all the products together, I'll then put it in the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes just because I like the consistency to be a little bit more thicker. If you also, if you're not in a rush, you can also just leave it outside. So yeah, guys, this is the consistency we are looking for. I hope this is quite focused enough, but this is the cons, cons, cons consistency this is the consistency we are looking for something like this and now i didn't show you guys earlier because i didn't add it earlier but i'm gonna add some lavender essential oil why is there a white hair anyway i'm gonna add some lavender essential oil i'm gonna just do like three drops it's more for like the smell than anything but I really like it so I'm just gonna go for it. I think there's some benefits for it. If there is, I'll leave them right here. But yeah, so I just added three drops of it. It smells nice. So yeah, and I don't have a lot because obviously like I said, my hair is already very, very greasy. So I'm just gonna add that and this is definitely enough for my whole hair. So I'm gonna split my hair in half and I'm, I'll be adding it to it so. Look at it, guys. So, you can have it a little thicker, but I just like it like this. Don't worry a lot about the ends, we kind of take care of the ends later on. So, right now, we're kind of just doing the roofs and further down. And at the same time, like just massage your scalp is like really good for that but we also do that at the end but yeah anyway so that's that so now this is what we call greasy hair oh my god uh, yeah don't worry guys i know you can't see any curls you're probably like panicking but no there's nothing wrong with it trust me the curls will eventually come back Loads of people say I look um, better with curly hair than straight, but once in a while I do like to straighten my hair and also it makes me look much older. Like it makes, not much older, it makes me look my age. Like curly hair does not make me look 24 at all. This 
this literally just helps you comb through your hair as well you see like it's so much easier so you don't need like any brushes or anything like that or comb nothing your fingers are literally enough and guys I still have like so much oil left Now the rest of the oil I've got, I'm just going to be putting it on my scalp and I'll just like literally massage through it. And if you can hear somebody snore, it's literally my dog. guys like even if you don't have curly hair like this treatment is so good like it's all oils and they're like super good to your hair like to my ends now what I'm literally gonna do is just grab like literally just go like this with my hair and just get all the leftovers in my hair and that is all Now, what I'm literally going to do is braid my hair into two. And then I'll leave it literally up to 30 minutes on. So it's now 10.43. So I will be back soon. So I'll just leave it like this. You can see, can you like see how greasy it is? So that is literally the aim of it now. And this I literally is completely gone guys. So I told you, you make use of the whole thing. So now that it's finished, I'm gonna go downstairs as I wait for my mask to sink in. I'm gonna go downstairs and put a face mask on. So I'll be right back. So guys, excuse my mask, I am back. I went to put a hair mask, a face mask. It's been like uh, 20 minutes since I added my mask. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using in the shower because I will not be recording that part. So I'll be using my favorite, one and only, my favorite shampoo and conditioner, which is the Sheer Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner and Shampoo. They are my favorite at all times. I always use these two. Sometimes I do change up, but I do like, I do love this and I always, always come back to it. So I'll be using this too. And then after, sham after shampoo, obviously, after shampoo, I'll obviously conditioner. And after conditioner, I will be using my favorite mask that I do not get tired of telling you guys how the Shreffinant and Restore Treatment Mask is my favorite from Sheer Moisture. So I will be using this. Uh, after I condition condition and I'll leave it for about 20 20 minutes to 30 minutes depends how long it takes me to scrub my body I'll be scrubbing my body also today so yeah I'm having kind of therapy day so just like a kind of spa day so ignore me but anyway I'm just showing you guys the hair so I usually I use this before I actually shampoo but because today I had my hair straightened and I added all the oils I'll be using this afterwards uh, it still does the same effect really. I just like to kind of go with my hair already uh, um, Detangled everything into the shower. That's why I used this before But yeah, this time I'm gonna use it after because obviously I had the oils now and it doesn't make any sense me adding this now So I'll just add it later. So yeah, because I just love this. I love this so much So I just have to use it. But yeah, anyway guys, I'll go shower now and I'll be back in about I'm not going to tell you how long it's going to wash my hair, so I'm going to be in an hour. I'll be back in an hour and I'll show you guys the results. So, yeah. See you soon. Okay, so, I'm literally back from the shower. My hair is still, like, super wet. But you can see the curls are all here. Very fine, no heat damage whatsoever. And this, they have absolutely no product, nothing in. 
To style my hair, I will be using three products, three different brands, just because they are my favorite three. So I'll be using this African Pride Living Conditioner. This is the Olive Miracle Collection. I really love this. This is just amazing. And then I'll be using my other favorite, which is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie from Sheer Moisture. And then I'll be using the Foaming Style from Cream of Nature. So I'll be using this last. So I will start by using the Living Conditioner. And I literally always like just button my hair in two parts and then I'll just go through this way. I'm going to show how long it actually took me to. It took me one hour and 45 minutes to be back. Actually, no, it took me an hour exactly because I stayed with the mask for about 45 minutes with all the oils and stuff for literally about 45 minutes because I then went and created uh, something else so I was quite busy so yeah I went shower a bit later so yeah so I'll tell you and at the same time as I'm applying this I'm slightly going through my hair and detangling it's already detangled in the shower but I'm just doing a bit extra just in case and also it helps every little bit of the hair to get it if you literally go through it this way and now I'm gonna go with my curl enhancing smoothie I just really love this combo guys my hair looks so good the next day which that's when I'll be showing you guys tomorrow morning how my hair looks but yes, I'm putting extra product at the front because that's where I touch my hair all the time. I literally touch the front of my hair all the time and that kind of makes it go freezy a little bit. So if I put in extra, adding extra moisture, it just prevents from being extra frizzy because you can't just not have have curly hair and not have frizz you always have frizz but we're trying to minimize the frizz that's what we're trying to do then you kind of shake your well because this helps the curls to open up now we go for the cream of nature foam get this on the camera that much and all we're gonna do is we're going to scratch it I love the sound <laughs> what we're going to do now is literally blow dry my hair and I'm not really going to blow dry it too much because I kind of like to air dry it. So I'm going to kind of just stick because it's literally soaking wet. I'm going to kind of just help it out a little bit. So, okay. So, the blow dryer I'll be using is just this blow dryer. I don't even know the name. I've had it for a very, very long time. But I'm going to use my blow dryer just to like blow dry a little bit and then I'll be using the diffuser just a little bit. Like I said, I will not fully dry my hair right now. And I'll be using on low heat and then number one. percent dry yeah it's not dry at all but we'll get there but I'm not gonna be doing it anymore I'm literally gonna let it air dry because I like it when it air dries by itself I feel, like, I feel like my curls look better so I'm gonna allow my hair to air dry by itself and then I'll come back and show you guys tomorrow how my hair looks like but so far this is my curls
they are 100 percent back 100 percent here so yeah look they are definitely here you can see but yeah i will be back i will be back tomorrow and i'll show you guys how everything looks so i'll see you tomorrow the next day so guys this is me back the next day with my hair fully dry i think it's still like 90 percent dry i think it's still a bit wet but i'm gonna show you guys so this is my hair oh my god i look crazy this is my hair after it's been after it's dry and so now you guys can like properly see the curls are very defined you see so yeah that is the starting process from here you can make the afro because you guys know i do love some volume so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna show you guys how i actually do that so i need some oil where is my oil okay fine i'll just use some black castor oil in my hands kind of not my hands but my fingers and I have it so my hands can be a bit greasy and then this way I can like just open it sorry I'm on my road but and because it's so yeah guys this is the end look got my hair pretty much done that is the curls you're looking for you can see that is very defined even though I'm making the go bigger the curls are still super super defined oh, yeah sometimes i do want and as the day goes the curls open up more but for now this is what we got and yeah so thank you so much for watching guys if you watch all the way here therefore make sure you subscribe to my channel therefore make sure you do like this video if you like this video and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram because i'm always always active there so let's keep in touch throughout the week anyway guys i'll see you guys on my next video bye